Nick speaking. Welcome to this video. So yeah, I'm just about to show you the obelisks which I got from Laser Cut Card. They're all built. Uh, but I've been quite a busy boy today actually. Not only have I built those obelisks, I've um, undercoated my defence line. That's all ready for painting. That's what I'm going to do next. And uh, I have reopened my scarab production line. Um, Jamie from the Night Cage. He's um, on his last video um, about his gaming table. He showed off his display case, and in there is a small uh, Necron Force, which um, was inspired by myself apparently. So uh, that's really cool. And I thought, well, why not give him some Scarab Swarms to go in in with that force? So uh, yeah, I just opened up the production line for him. So looking forward to uh, getting these done, sent them over. I've only got one molder, so. Uh, I've been doing these today. Uh, I've got to leave it in there about three hours before I can take it out. So, yeah, it's good. It takes a while, but um, I shall get there. But anyway, on to the obelisks. So, here we go. These are the finished ones. Wow, look how big they are. Can't even get them in. Right, uh, just come out of it. So, these are the two that I got. Um, and this is from a website, Laser Cut Card. Go and check it out. Um, just very quickly, because I, I've been asked this question a couple of times now um, about the current scene. And when you go on there, because um, the, the gent that runs it is basically in South Africa, and uh, he's got different currencies on there. Uh, but all you do is you, if you go to the top of the website, you can click the icon for pound sterling, etc. So you just click onto that, and it changes the whole page into your currency. Um, so, yeah, go and check it out. It's a really cool product and I'm really really liking these so yeah you get a pack of two now I plan to get six of these all together so I'm going to order another couple of packs um, in terms of building them it's very similar to the defence line um, so basically it's cardboard and super glue does the job very nicely um, I would say it's slightly trickier than the defence line to do these because there's quite big sections um, but uh, the, the key to this really is to not try and do too much at a time so you know, just like start one end and then wait for it to dry before you like go down to the, the other piece and then just gradually glue it together. Um, I also found it easier to do like two halves. So I did like this corner piece, glued that section, and then I glued the other side, the corner piece, and then I put them together. So rather than trying to do each flat section one at a time, I did the two corners and then put them together and glued them. And that seemed to work quite well. You also have the, the patterns on there. Um, now there's a lot of little circles and to be fair, um, even though the instruction book says that they like to be lost, I did actually start losing mine. I managed to find all of them. They just kept pinging every time I tried to glue them in, so I kept pinging away. Um, I did find them all apart from one, so I have one missing, but um, luckily I put a 2 by one millimeter magnet in instead and it's absolutely the perfect size. I don't know if you can see that just there. So that's actually a magnet rather than a cardboard piece. But um, yeah, so that's them all built. Um, I think they're brilliant. I absolutely love them. So these are going to be so cool. Um, in my Necron Terrain Generator, basically you roll a dice, a D6, and that's how many of these obelisks you get and you set them 12 inches apart so if you had three you know you, you can just imagine just they were really cool on the battlefield so yeah I'm really really looking forward to uh, getting these painted as well and of course the other thing as well is you get the leftovers that's from in there and um, I'm going to use these on my, my big tomb that I've got just going down one of the struts along with all the other leftover bits uh, where are they just get them along with all the other leftovers from the defence line. I've got loads here, so I'm going to bling up my tombs and stuff when I've got all these done. Um, so yeah, I'm going to order some more of these, and the next project for me is going to basically going to be paint up the defence line. So there you go. I should put a link to the Night Cage channel, um, and also obviously Laser Cut Card, and the Laser Cut Card um, blog. Go and check it out, he's just put up a brand new Chaos Defence line and it looks absolutely awesome. So go and check that out, if you, especially if you've got uh, Chaos Army because it's, uh, it's well worth a look. Okay, there you go, that's it, thanks for watching and more to come.